And because you continue to say LeBron James is having the greatest 19th season anybody's ever had, and I co-signed, that reminds everybody he's in his 19th year dominating this league. He is the king. He is not only the face of the franchise, he's the face of the league. And obviously, because of that, you cannot duck after losing by 37 at Denver on a Saturday night. You just can't. You, you, you are the leader of the team in basketball, the Los Angeles Lakers, who were the consensus favorite to win it all before the season started. So when that happens, you have to speak in part to, to protect your teammates because if you leave them holding yes. the bags... They all have to go up there and sit on the podium, starting with Russell Westbrook, who did, to his credit, go address the media after the game. They all have to take the shots that, that you should have taken first. Vogel has to take them. You have to take them, too. So I, I appreciate the fact that you said that. And by the way, now I've got to take it back to Tom Brady. You were very hard on Brady the other day when we talked about his behavior, obviously his pouty childish behavior, his poor sport, poor loser behavior losses. at New Orleans. Uh, you know, we talk about no handshakes after losses. We talk about running over to Dennis Allen, the D coordinator of the Saints. Mm -hmm. Go F yeah. yourself, running back to the bench and taking the tablet and firing it and breaking it. Childish, mm -hmm. pouty behavior, tantrum behavior. Okay? And I said, well, that's just who he is. And you said, well, there are quarterbacks in the league who don't look like Tom Brady who would not be given that kind of pass. That's competitive fire yeah. and Tom Brady. And, and I give you that. I get you. You are correct about that. But let's not let LeBron off the same hook because he's all the, you know, obviously mm -hmm. often trying to compare himself to Brady, put himself in the same conversation with Brady. Well, LeBron right. can be pouty and childish after losses, too. And I remind mm -hmm. you, if we could hark back to that 2018 finals game one at Oracle, if you remember this, in the game, it was a disaster of a debacle. I think we're seeing him walk out here. I, I think we're going to show it here in a second. He, he, yeah, here we go. He, you know, after the J.R. Smith blunder, LeBron just couldn't take it. And, uh, you know, again, I thought LeBron should have taken the last shot. He passes it up to George Hill. We've been through that a million times. But there's LeBron. He just goes and sits down the bench from his team and pouts. It's like, I don't want to associate with you guys. And I thought Skip, it was just Skip, poor body language you thought by he LeBron. Said that, no. No, I'm not going to let you do that. You said he's sitting at the end of the bench. There's only an empty chair between JR. The There's bench. also no. an empty chair between JR and, and George Hill. He sat he away. There. He sat away from his team. Skip. Okay. There's the Jeff Green team. standing right next to him. Okay. For, for the first two minutes and 30 seconds of overtime, he did not take a shot. They had a shot. There was they a were, shot presented. Again, they were down only one at the end of regulation. He could have pulled up on Steph Curry, who, who got switched on to him. He could have taken a 15-foot jump shot to win the game. He passed the ball. Okay, Skip. so my point is, you you you, you, you got to take back over. you got to be the leader. You should have been leading that sideline huddle saying, hey, if, if we come into tonight thinking we could get to overtime of game one against that dynamo team, that dynasty, we, we would have taken it. So you got to rally your troops. And he puts his head down and pouts. Okay, it's, it's just who he's been. And then remember what happened last year. Game five at Phoenix. It's five, what, 545 left in the game. What were they down? 105 yeah. to 73. Here we go. They were down 32. And he just checks out. He just checks out. He just says, I'm out. I can't take it anymore. Yeah. He leaves the bench and walks up the tunnel. Mm -hmm. You can argue he needed to go get treatment. You you got to, you just got to no. live with your team and you got to no. take the beating the rest of the game. You yeah. can't disassociate from the team. I'm sorry, you can't. Right. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.